Welcome to this Business Central Launch Edition 2025 Release Wave 2. In this video, we're going to talk about two things, drill back and dynamic dimension names for the Power BI apps for Business Central. Now, this sounds scary and technical, but it is actually some really useful features in the Power BI apps. So we cover these two concepts. Drill back is for situations where you want to understand the, a number in, in the report, what, what is behind that number. So for instance, maybe you want to kind of have trust in the reports, or maybe you want to tr troubleshoot why is, like, why do we have so many um, liabilities on this account and actually want to dive into the figures. Um, the other feature is dynamic dimension naming, and that is uh, uh, because dimensions is a very popular feature in Business Central. Um, and in the previous Power BI apps, we only had the dimension codes and also uh, only ability to filter on global dimension one, two, and three. So the actual names were not present in Power BI. And we have solved that. Um, so we're gonna show you how you can um, it, you need to edit the, the reports, but then you can actually get both the names and also the, the proper fields of dimensions um, as filters in your Power BI reports. So let's dive in and first look at Drillback. All right, so imagine you are a controller and uh, you take a look at your liabilities. So here's the liability Power BI report. And... Um, here I have some accounts. For instance, this DL account 22100 has current liabilities of 105,831. Now remember that number because uh, what happens here is you can see in this matrix that I now have a link. And if I choose this link, this will open up a new Business Central tab. So I can still go back to where I was. And this opens up all the transactions behind that number. Remember the number, you, you remember that? Let's dive into, take this list into uh, analysis mode. And uh, I'll just also show you a new cool feature here. If I search for amount and right click this guy here, I can scroll amount into view, so a new feature here in 27. And if you look at that sum here, 105, 835, that is actually the number I asked you to, uh, to remember. So it's not magic, even though this is like a magic trick. This is a drill back from Power BI back to Business Central. The second feature is dynamic dimension naming. So um, let me show you in Power BI um, the sales app and show how the dimensions look uh, in there with this new feature. All right, so here in Power BI Desktop, I have opened the sales app and like in previous versions, here are the filters and like you can see, I have filters on global dimension one, two, and that's kind of sad in a way, right? So global dimension one has, uh, is apparently departments, I think, and global dimension two is, I think, it's customer group, but that's really hard, right? So, let, so how can we fix this with this new feature? Um, what I need to do is go to data, and here I have a new table called dimension sets, where you can see we are now loading the customer group name and the department name. So these are the actual global dimension one and two. And that means I can, uh, for instance, plug in as a filter. Let me just get this down here. I could put in the customer group as a filter here, and this is now dynamically named. So if I go up here, customer group name actually have the, the right name of customer group as well as the right uh, values of this, right? So I can, uh, I can now filter to large business and get my report to that. Or I could, if I wanted to, let's just uh, do that here. If I wanted a slicer instead, we don't have really have slicers in our reports. That's a design principle. But let's say I wanted to add a slicer here for customer group for that dimension. Let's just get that um, up here and let's just center this down here like this. And 
uh, like this, then I could put in customer group into that. And now you see the global dimensions, uh, the global dimension one is also present here. So what is the dynamic part of this? Let's go back to Business Central and, uh, and change our dimension setup. So if I now open our general ledger setup where we set up the dimensions for our GL, you can see here our global dimension one and two, um, or global dimension one, uh, two, and uh, I have a shortcut dimensions here as well. If I add, say, business group as a shortcut dimension three, let's see how we can get that into Power BI. So now I'm going to shift back to the Power BI desktop and show you that. So back here in Power BI desktop, I now choose to refresh not the full data set, but just the dimension sets here with a schema and data refresh. And it will just take a few seconds. And let's see what happens. We are syncing, we are loading, and now we are almost done, done. So, working on it, and there we go. Now we have business group name as a new like table here. That means I could actually take the business group uh, here instead of the customer name, and then I could start uh, using that as a filter if I had any data for business group there, right? So that's how dynamic dimensions work. Let's just go and wrap up and we're done. If you want to know more about Power BI in Business Central or anything analytics, this is the AKA link you need to go to in our learn uh, documentation, aka.ms forward slash BC analytics. Um, remember to follow the product group here on LinkedIn. We have an AKA link for that, aka.ms forward slash BC LinkedIn. This is where you get weekly news from the product group on anything related to Business Central. And uh, you're probably watching this on YouTube. That means uh, you might know that we also have a YouTube channel from the product group. We have more than just uh, these watch new. We also have um, co-pilot and AI, tips and tricks, deep dives, and even under the hood podcasts where you get uh, like a sneak peek into new features uh, months, sometimes months before they actually hit the release plan. So aka.ms forward slash BC YouTube is uh, the link that you should uh, be using to, to, uh, to bookmark us or, or follow us on YouTube. And uh, then uh, if you're a Business Central partner, um, the aka link, aka.ms forward slash BC all is uh, the only thing you need to, to bookmark that gives you all the other aka links relevant for you. Of course, if you are a Business Central partner, make sure that you are on Yammer. So um, that is the network for all partners, no customers there, where you can ask questions or discuss the product, both with your fellow peers and also with the product group engineers and program managers. Finally, both for partners and for customers, the office hours is where we, on a monthly basis, uh, throw out a topic, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll discuss it, there's a Q&A, uh, so go to the AKA link uh, for that if you want to see the schedule of the next office hours and, uh, and kind of engage with the product group on the, the, the future of Business Central. And with that, we are done here. So um, I wish you a great day and hopefully see you at some of the other launch edition videos. Thank you.